Totally Baseless. Hey, it's Totally Baseless, where we talk about the news that's more absurd than you think would be possible. My name's John, and with me is Dan and Dave. How are you guys doing? Hey, doing good. Alive and well. <laughs> yes, so far. So far. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. Well, uh, that's because you were never at a sleepover with Abby Broyles. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> She's a House candidate. Candidate. She's already getting into trouble. She's not even elected yet. You're supposed to do all your stupid shit once you get elected, but... She's, uh, she's ahead of the curve. She's very precocious, I should say, because she was yelling obscenities at 12 and 13-year-olds at a sleepover, and it wasn't even at her house or her sleepover or her kids. She was just a guest at the sleepover, and she was calling kids acne fucker, Hispanic fucker, and judgy fucker, with, which, I mean, she should be talking. Yeah, she's like drunk fucker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> seven, Snow White and the seven little fuckers. I just think she's being proactive. It's like, you know what? I'm running for Congress. I'm getting all this out of the way. So there's no surprises. This is what I do. <laughs> this is me. Scandalized. This is it. She was yeah, just she, getting warmed up, huh? Well, I, I think it, it makes sense. You know what? If you got Brett Kavanaugh on the Supreme Court and he's doing keg stands, <laughs> why not me? She, I think she thought that's like the game plan. So she wants to be the fucker of the house. <laughs> but yeah, these are little kids. And she was going, she was saying it right to them, pointing it right in their chest, getting her finger right in them. Judgy fucker. <laughs> She's probably just one of those total Karens with her live, laugh, love signs and her giant hat on going, you know what? This is my time. You're interrupting my, my wine time. I'm trying to watch my murder shows. <laughs> my wine the time. Fuck up. And yeah, she's showing up at somebody else's sleepover. <laughs> Like her friend yeah, is that had really a smart kid move at the yeah. sleepover. Yeah, I mean, is that really a smart move to bring wine to a to a kid's sleepover? What could go wrong? And especially if you wait. Know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a kid's sleepover. I'm going to medicate myself and I'm going to take some wine. What could go wrong? They always blame. I started some new medication. I was experimenting. <laughs> yeah, there, there's like this quote here. Is she was taking the medication because she struggled with stress, anxiety, insomnia. And the need to be a total bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that medication wasn't working that night. Yeah. Yep, yep. You know, normally mm -hmm. I don't pay attention to a lot of uh, elections, but uh, Oklahoma, uh, I'm going to be uh, seeing how Abby Broyles does uh, this, this fall, I guess. Really, I hope she wins. It's like, come on. I mean, what else? <laughs> it's the kind of world we live in. All with those weird white wines and the rosés and sleepovers. Yeah, we're, we're trying to even it out, right? I mean, we have a few Republicans. We need some Democrats that are just totally batshit off the wall crazy. That's very nonpartisan. <laughs> hey, crazy comes in all sizes, man. She's just trying to, like, bring back uh, Ted Kennedy. She's like, you know what? If it was good enough for Teddy Kennedy, I'm going to follow his playbook. <laughs> get drunk roll the dice see what happens <laughs> yeah just imagine if you were one of the parents on on this yeah it's gonna be one rough carpool the next day that <laughs> yeah. for by the elected drunk fucker for congress committee well uh let's uh change gears completely <laughs> let's go to the terminator a copy a, a print vhs tape i mean it would be better if it was a beta but okay a vhs tape of the terminator uh, obviously a very mint condition. And from the picture, it looks like it's in plastic. You know, those big uh, anti-theft plastic things they used to have for uh, VHS tapes. But it sold at auction for $32,500. I mean, Terminator's a great movie, but 32000 bucks worth? I don't think so. <laughs> well, I mean, what are you going to play it in? Do you even have a VCR? <laughs> Thing is, you could probably get a VCR for like seven bucks on Amazon right now. So it's yeah. like, oh, okay, okay. Let's say you get a VCR and then you put your tape in, and the VCR eats it. Thirty-two thousand dollars down the drain. I guess well, you throw it up fucked. on eBay, man. <laughs> I guess all you're going to do with it is just put it out there for people to view it, right? I mean, you're not going to actually. No, watch I don't it. think you would actually. Play no, no. It. It's yeah. come see my copy of the Terminator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can watch <laughs> the movie. <laughs> movie. I just. No, we'll sure. just stream the movie. Yeah, yeah. Here's the copy right here. You can look at it. Pass it around. Touch with the, the don't, with the yeah, gloves, don't, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's this online auction site, Comic Connect, and they don't say who bought it. So I, I'm thinking maybe Arnold Nerd. bought Nerd. it, or James Cameron <laughs> probably bought it to just to make themselves look good. Yeah, it was some nerd. 
I mean, I get the comic books and I get the, the baseball cards. Oh, that, that's okay yeah, with you. That's okay. Yeah. As no, long no. as that's okay with you, no. Dave. The Terminator comic, I would spend 50000 for that. <laughs> <laughs> if they had a if they had a playing card with him on it now that would be something else that's oh, you get way more than that <laughs> but yeah. you put it in loose sight it's fucking yeah awesome. I, I just don't get the <laughs> to me it's kind of like those nfts nowadays what do you do with it you just say, just you, to have say it. you have it I yeah, have it. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, a, exactly. it's an investment well uh, just as a side note uh arnold is going to be in a twin sequel called triplets and Tracy Morgan is going to play the third brother along with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Well, That's then you right. can use his whole, everybody's getting pregnant. Liz Lemon, That's we'll right. get you pregnant. You know, that was a sequel that was dying to be made 30 years later. 30, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Arnold, I'm just not going to work as your maid. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> now, that's dangerous. Well, at least that's uh, not gay, which is a bad thing in Florida, apparently. The don't say gay bill uh, was passed by the Florida House. So probably it'll become a law because uh, I think uh, the, the governor of Florida is very anti-gay friendly, shall we say. So apparently the man's never been to Miami is what he's got. Miami's like a gay hotspot, right? And then if you guess... say so, Dave, <laughs> well. Not that there's it, anything wrong with it. In my travels. <laughs> so no, what, that... what, is, what are your reviews of your favorite bathrooms in Miami? Then? <laughs> there's a blog for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I guess uh, they're saying uh, parents should have a right to uh, control uh, gender and sex education for their kids. So they don't want uh, the schools interfering with what uh, kids learn. And so they're blocking any mention of... Uh, of gay or homosexuality or transgender or any counseling or any support services, uh, obviously, as well. Yeah, there, there's also another bill in there, right? The Individual Freedom Bill. Ironically enough, titled the original yeah, yeah. Individual Freedom. Really? Yeah, it, I think uh, I think that bill was also um, for educators and employers would face legal liability for lessons or training about gender identity and race that keeps that makes people feel discomfort or viewed as discriminatory and then they expanded the definition of discrimination uh to include anything that makes another person feel uncomfortable over historic actions by their race nationality or gender or oh, anything fuck you <laughs> or or anything that makes white people look bad pretty much Isn't anything it? that looks white straight people look bad <laughs> no no you can't say that <laughs> this, this is what cracks you up. These people that are the first to always call everybody liberal snowflakes and you're so offended, but please don't say anything that in the history of man that might offend a white person. Or we'll make a law not letting <laughs> we'll, you do that. We'll make a law. <laughs> These like people that are like against big government, my individual rights don't trample on my freedoms, but I also want to legislate your ability to what you do in your bedroom. Well. Yeah. And <laughs> what you say and yeah. Yeah, don't yeah, tell yeah. me to carry. A, I can't carry a gun. Don't make me wear a mask or get a shot. But I can tell you not to say the word gay because that might offend me. What well, the fuck <laughs> is up with these people? Well, there's well, no irony at all. Well, but also on that bill, right? It said it would give adults greater authority to challenge books or lessons that cause discomfort, including lessons about the Civil War, <laughs> Civil Rights Movement, and the Holocaust. Who would that give discomfort the Holocaust. to? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's like the state that's shaped like a wang <laughs> and that gave us a Florida man is throwing this at us. It's like, really, Florida? Come on. Yeah, it's, I, I mean, th this bill should be the anti-gay, pro-white supremacist bill because it seems yeah. like everything is... I call them my base. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ron DeSantis, he's trying to out-Trump Trump. Yeah, yeah. Old yeah, yeah. Trump. He, He's uh, he's uh, definitely sounds like he's going to run for 2024. He's prepping up. So oh, he's hitting all the the conservative check marks or the, the right wing check marks. The, the even bigger irony is, you know, whose kids are going to all be gay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I never it saw it happen coming. that way. Well, Florida is not the only one uh, defending their rights to uh protect themselves from uh, gay and transgender and non-binary people. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene has suggested that uh, maybe people need to stand up against 
uh, LGBTQ people. Because straight people have been oppressed for so long in our society. Now it's time for them to rise up. <laughs> yes. And so guess where she said this? Could it be Florida? <laughs> Not in, I don't think it was in Florida, but it was on uh, Alex Jones's InfoWars show. Uh, oh. that, that says it all right there, doesn't it? Where you <laughs> That'll learn you. Get the facts. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gay Frogs, right? Gay Frogs? What, like, what's this about? He was saying that the, like, the water or something was turning frogs gay. Uh, it was one of his weird conspiracy <laughs> theories. There's well, a lot of water around Florida. Well, the thing is, in nature, there are frogs and there are certain fish that are homosexual and transgender. It's been proven. It's like a scientific fact. They change. Uh, they can change genders, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like the, so, I think it's the largest female, and they don't know why. I, I the forget. In this one group of fish, like the largest female, will become uh, will change to male if there's no other males around, yeah. or sometimes just if I'm around. That happens in humans also. Send a guy to prison. <laughs> <laughs> but the, yeah, the, like the funny thing about all these crazy comments, it's like this is this happens in nature and all these people that are coming from like their religious side. It's like, well, God is perfect and God doesn't make mistakes. But then they say homosexuality is an abomination, all this and that, the other. So which is it? You believe in science? You believe in the Bible? You believe none of them? You call them on it and they don't have an answer. Yeah, but the frogs are gay. How could that be? <laughs> I mean, yeah, because God it's... made them that way. And not my frogs. Maybe <laughs> your frogs. <laughs> or maybe the frogs <laughs> maybe the frogs <laughs> maybe the that's french gonna be, frog that's gonna be yeah that's gonna be my new bumper sticker not my frog not my frogs <laughs> i like my my frogs like i like my women straight <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, so by the state of florida <laughs> but apparently there's some sleepover at a cabin and uh some I don't know, people that were uh, identified as non-binary um, were... Uh, they were the camp counselor, count, right? camp counselors, right? Counselors, right, yes. right. And yeah. she kind of took it as, well, they could sleep and shower with the kids. Uh, and that's never okay, regardless of the gender anyway, right? She took it, it like it was, it was like that. And it was just that they were camp counselors. There was camp counselors that identified as either non-binary binary or a different gender. But yeah, there wasn't like any kind of crazy shenanigans going on. Yeah, because crazy shenanigans only happens to with non-binary and trans people, right? Quote, unquote, your average person, for some reason, they equate transgender and non-binary with like some pervert or something. Well, yeah, like it's some big like predatory like master yeah. plan. Like really, yeah. this is like my big like wily e. Coyote moment. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let myself be ostracized, pretend that I'm a different gender so I can be a sexual predator. It's like, really? Have they not yeah. been watching like what happens yeah. in the real world? It's like, if somebody wants to do some, commit a crime, they're going to commit the crime. So these outlandish lengths that like all these. The only, the only pedophiles around are non-binary and trans people. Everybody else. You, can you said with it, your not kids. me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take that quote out. Go ahead. Of, <laughs> a little okay. out of context. Yeah. Anytime I want to. <laughs> Uh, the, the parents at this Weaver Elementary School uh, have not accused uh, anybody of any crimes and nobody else is, uh, uh, and no suggestion that anybody showered with the kids or anything like that at all. Uh, so it was, uh, it was just Marjorie Taylor Greene coming up with this on her own. She would say either her, her husband or, or, or she would beat up the trans person. If they showered and did that stuff, yeah. Yeah. Like, that yeah. she, the straw man that she set up, yeah. she would beat that fake imaginary. You, you, you mean you mean she would use gazpacho tactics on them? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And she it would throw all hot comes soup around. At them. <laughs> actually, cold soup. <laughs> yeah, so it wouldn't be that bad, actually. <laughs> right, but right. She is the gift that keeps on giving. But oh yeah. <laughs> well, like how did how did we get here? How did people like that get here? It's like. You know what? Congress. Let's vote for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who was the guy she ran against? I want to meet the guy that lost. Like, I can't believe I lost to her. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That says nothing about him. That says more about the people who voted. <laughs> Plenty of blame to go around. Yeah. That guy uses big words. Whoa, we don't yeah. want him. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what he was talking about. Maybe the other side, the other person was saying things like, uh, Hispanic fucker to 12 year olds. <laughs> so the bar's pretty low. Yeah. Yeah. Out there. So maybe she ran against Abby Broyles. That was her line. <laughs> yeah. All right. How do we get off of a Marjorie Taylor Greene? Uh, well, 
running and screaming, probably. But I think that's it for this week. Thanks for listening. And we're out with uh, John, Dave, and Dan here on Totally Baseless. Bye. Later on. <laughs>